It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the Scotch Bonnet Showdown with Uncle Bocow. So, this is so cool. Um, really been talking about Scotch Bonnets lately, how much I love the pepper. Looking for a good Scotch Bonnet sauce. Of course, I make a sauce once a year called Big Fat Jerk. And it's a jerk style, jerk flavored Scotch Bonnet sauce. And uh, I got Scotch Bonnets in the freezer that I've been saving for about nine, ten months to make that sauce. So soon enough. Got a Jamaican uh, beef roti here. I got some orange, red, and yellow Scotch bonnets. Two Scotch bonnet sauces. And Iris Sea Moss and Peanut Punch. Straight Jamaican. Ah, that is so good. This is stuff that you had to go into Brooklyn to get when I was living in New York. And Chaz, turn it down a little bit. She's got TV blast in there. All right, so let's give the, the sauce that I don't know if I'll like uh, for, try first. This is Grace Scotch Bonnet Sauce. I reviewed their green version of this. And it was, it tasted like Mexican taco sauce with like that lime, with that, that cheap lime juice you buy in the stores in it. So I don't know if this is going to be the same, but uh, I'm about to find out. Whoa, there's a, there goes the plug all over the place. Scotch bonnet sauce everywhere. All right, so let's give this a little. A little try on the roti. It's thick. That's what it looks like. Not as bad as the green sauce, definitely. Mmm. Not bad. The green scotch bonnet sauce was horrid. Um, this is pretty good. Not hot, of course, but flavor's not bad. All right, got a new one today. Blue Mountain. Now, Blue Mountain is Jamaica. Well, the best coffee in the world is grown. I don't care what you say. Try all your other, try all your other coffees on me. Nothing beats Blue Mountain. Now let's hope that the sauce can live up to its name of Blue Mountain. I gotta do a solo bite. Definitely different than the other one. Not as tangy. Try it on the roti. See. Not bad. Unfortunately, I so let, let me tell you a story. You guys heard me talk about Scotch bonnets in the last couple weeks, last month. Um, Mrs. Bokow got a sauce from Titus Island Peppers. She did the pepper gauntlet. His sauce is a Scotch bonnet Island sauce. It's got other peppers in it too. Hands down, the best one I've ever had. My boss liked it so much, I lent it to him. He said, I'll bring it back. I, I didn't even expect him to, but he did. So, But I left it at work. If you ain't never had Iris Sea Moss, get you some. It's sweet, creamy. Mmm. That is so good. All right. Peanut Punch. This is a... Iris, this is from Iris Moss. This is a, this is a peanut drink. Gosh, oh, it's so good. When you're, if you're in a Jamaican spot and they got something that's hot enough to burn you, this will tame the heat. All right, let's get into the actual peppers themselves. Let's go with the red. 
So red scotch bonnet is, you know, like most red pods, has more sweetness to it. Um, that flavor, you know, when you bite into it, you know it's a red pod. This one was very thick walled, very firm. Wasn't soft at all. The red ones, when they ripen, they do soften up quick. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Beautiful peppers. Now, of course, these probably ain't MOA. What is MOA? For those that don't know, MOA stands for Ministry of Agriculture. The Ministry of Agriculture in Jamaica has a certain standard on the Scotch Bonnet for them to consider a true MOA approved Scotch Bonnet. There's a certain pheno shape that they like. Um, whoo! Man, that little red one was hot. And so, the MOA Scotch Bonnet is MOA Yellow Scotch Bonnet. Now, I heard there's a red one too. Um, somebody gave me some last year. They said they were MOA Red Bonnets, but I don't think they were. They were nothing like the yellow one. They were bumpy. They looked like a, a, a Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Red, but they weren't hot, but they were floral. I have no clue what that pepper was, but I did not like it. All right, so the red one. Excellent heat on that one. Uh, the flavor, not my favorite when it comes to the bonnets. You guys know I like the yellow pods. So the red one, it lacks the, the kind of tropical citrusy notes. Uh, but it has sweetness, so um, really good. I have red ones in the freezer that were grown right here locally. I also have orange and yellow ones. But uh, the red one, it's got its place, so don't get me wrong. That, that goes into my jerk sauce. All right, let's go with orange next. Now, I'm sure this isn't a free port orange. It's actually not. This is a red bonnet that's not fully ripened. See the thickness of the walls? It's usually how I can tell. For some reason, the red ones are, are thicker. It's good, though. It's good. It's uh, not as sweet because it's not as red. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of this, this sauce. I don't, I don't know. It's got a good amount of vinegar in it. Let's do a bite of that and then... Mm. A little bit of that taste in this from like the green one had. I'm not I'm not happy about it. Wait a second. I forgot I had this. Pick a pepper. Now this is a dark sauce. I wanted to review this separate. But I'm going to give it a try right now. This is another Jamaican sauce. I believe it has Scotch Bonnet in it. If I remember correctly. I haven't had it in 20-something years. It's like a steak sauce, though. I don't know. Let me just see. It's not going to... Oh, crap. Yeah. It's not going to go with what I'm eating. Wow. It's good, though. This sauce... Um, you guys know the label. If you see it, it's in a lot of stores. But 27 years ago, I don't know, 25, we went on a hiking, camping trip in the Adirondack Mountains. And all I brought with me was a huge London broil <coughs> steak. Hold on one second, guys. Thank you. 
Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. I sneeze. Uh, so I had this huge London broil steak. And it was, uh, we took, the, luckily, because where this is, you got to hike back in. You don't have anything. But luckily, there was a little grill, just a grate, hanging in a tree. I took it down with this big fire going. I flicked some coals from the fire, took a rock away, and then made another small fire pit with just coals. Put that grate on Put that lemon broil over them coals, let it cook very slow and low. And I would flip the steak and I'd put some of this on it. And then I'd flip it and I'd put a little bit of barbecue sauce, then this, then barbecue sauce. And then I had a little bit of this left and I was dipping it in it. Man, I went crazy over it. So this is really good for steak. I'm going to review that on steak, just, just so you guys know. This, I'm getting that aftertaste. And it, what it is, is it's some kind of sodium bicarbonate or something that they put in, uh, it's in the lime juice that they're using. I know, I bought Jamaican lime juice that tasted overwhelming. I ruined a whole sauce once with it. It's that funky aftertaste. It's like, mmm. This one has a different aftertaste that I'm not too fond of. It's preservatives, um, straight up. That's why I make my own sauces, and I buy from people that make small batch stuff, because, yeah, this kind of stuff is, I don't like that kind, I don't like the preservatives in them at all, um, especially if you could taste them, and that's, and I can tell what that is, that's a preservative that is in the lime juice they're using, which is just stupid, just use lime juice, peanut punch, woo Ah, uh, not my favorite drink. This one is. That's why it's almost gone. But the peanut punch is, is excellent too. All right, let's go in. We're just gonna turn into a long video, guys. Nice, good size yellow Scotch bonnet. Let's go. Definitely not a MOA. tell because of the walls it's probably just a red bonnet unripe uh mm, wait a minute though there's those citrusy notes oh yeah excellent i knew a guy back in 1995 he had a Takeout spot called Habaneros. He made, you know, burritos and Cajun food and all this stuff. Anything spicy. Um, man, he was good cook. But he used to have on his like taco bar when you'd get a burrito, he would have a puree, habanero puree and Scotch bonnet puree. And he'd put a nice line of it or line of both or two. Man, I'd tell him, load it up. He'd put the scotch bonnet and the habanero. Oh, man. No vinegar, no nothing. He would just literally puree the peppers up. Have them there. Still to this day, I think he was one of the best cooks I've ever encountered. And I've been all over. I've been a chef for 20 years in the kitchens. Um, met some of the best. I know some of the best. Um, but this guy just, he, he just, everything he made. It's, it's like, you ever have somebody like that? Like, everything they make is just gold. So, yeah. Scotch Bonnet Showdown. Long video. Sorry about that, guys. I am having a great time here. Thank you for watching. God bless.